Hi guys, me the Big B again. Um, another video this time on the HTC HD7 that I've got. In my last videos, as you saw, or you may not have seen, but if you want to watch them, I go into custom ringtones and things like that, um, which was all well and good. It would be uh, really nice to have a custom ringtone on. But what I've managed to do this time is manage to not only unbrand it, but it's now updated to the latest undo update. Now, anybody who doesn't know what that is, on the O2 network, which I'm on, and on most of the others, you've got a small update to get it ready for the new undo update, which gives you the copy and paste features and a few little um, tweaks here and there, but primarily it was for the copy and paste feature that people were twisting that was missing. Um, obviously, there are some other features they put in and tweaked a few things, which I'll get to in a minute. Now, this only works for O2 network phones. So, all you guys, we've hit lucky. Um, any other network, you're out to look at the minute. Um, what this does is it puts uh, the undo update on, but it's the European generic standard HTC update, which by putting it on has a nice side effect that it unbrands your phone. And um, because as you know all people on O2, if you boot your phone up, you get the HTC screen white with a black writing, then you get this big blue screen with O2 written on it, then it goes into booting the phone. Now I don't have that. Um, the O2 bit's gone and it's a generic ROM. And what that also means is when they send out updates, the people that get them first are the people that have got have got unlocked standard HTC phones. They they're not network branded in any way they always get the updates first then the service provider gets all the update and then it takes them time to uh, open it up put their screens in put their crap in modify it to what they want it to be then they send it out to you which can take as we know a long long time so by having an un it unbranded any updates that come out, you're going to get them first because as far as the phone's concerned now, yeah, it may be still locked to O2, but as far as the firmware's concerned, it's an unbranded generic firmware. So you're going to get the future updates first because it doesn't have to go through your O2 um, network because that's kind of built into the phone as well. So we laugh and take cakes there, as they say. And for anyone who's not English, that's just a, an old English saying, laugh and tea cakes. I don't know where the hell it come from, but I've always said it. Um, right, what you need is, you need two files. Now, I'm not going to put links to the files, because I don't want to be responsible if anything goes wrong with your phone. Right, but I will put the name of the files you need. And what they are, is just standard. As you know, with HTC, you get these RUU update files, which are self-running, self-extracting update files. And what you need is there's two specific ones you need. One is an O2 one. And if you give me a second, I'll go to my folder. You can hear us clicking like holy hell. Right, the first one you need is, an, it's called, I will put a link to, like not a link, but I will put the name that you need so you can Google it yourself. It's the RUU Schubert O2 UK, and then there's a long string of version numbers, then a long string of radio numbers, and then at the end it says signed by answer you must have that exact one now that's just a standard like a, an auto uk standard update rom now the one you need which is the undo one which isn't a standard uk one is the ruu schubert htc europe 1.69.401.01 and then you've got a radio number as well and at the end it's signed schubert release now what you do to trick it is in the, the the one you down when you download them by the way the self extracting executables you just normally would double click them the setup program would run it would update your phone you don't want to do that yet what you want to do is right click on them make sure you've got WinRAR or some other equivalent um, program on you right click and extract them to and then the name of the folder uh, or the name of the file I normally just put right click extract and then I let it extract to the full mm. string name of the the file I just got an email um, and you'll have two folders one named the European one that I said one named the O2 one you've got to make sure you know which is which 
then them self executables you downloaded you don't touch them anymore that's it you, you're now dealing with the unextracted folders with the setup program in them so what you do is you go into the O2 one first and in there there's a file there's lots of files but the one you want is called model ID dot fig F I G and what you do is you copy it out of there and make sure you don't remove it it has to still stay in there but copy it out of there and paste it into the HTC European one that you downloaded the folder because it's missing in there and what that is that tricks the European ROM into still thinking it's an O2 UK one kind of even though it's not so right you've copy and pasted that file in that model id.fig you must do that then what you do is you put your phone into bootloader mode if you don't know how to do that turn your phone off once it's completely powered down press and hold volume down power your phone on keep the volume down then it'll boot up to a bunny screen then you let go of the bunny screen like a multicolored screen with some version numbers and writing on it and at the bottom it'll have on what its connection type is and it'll say serial what you do then is plug it in via USB into your computer I'm on Windows 7 32 bit it will then install some drivers right let it go through that procedure once it's done that your phone then should display where it says serial it should say USB as the connection type make sure it says USB before you continue once it gets to that point you then run the O2 UK ROM first you go inside the fold again not the original self running file don't touch them again the, this is you go into the fold that you extracted I can know I keep saying this like talking to people like the idiots but you've got to make sure you do this right and inside there there's a ROM update utility application there's two files named the same but one of them's a config file the other one is the actual executable run that and it'll start going through its update procedure now it'll the phone screen will change you'll get a little percentage bar you get a percentage bar on the PC screen this update will fail don't panic it'll get to the end it'll say the file seems to be corrupt go away basically but it's done what it needs to do then the phone screen will go back to the bootloader which is what you want make sure it says USB on the bottom again then go into the European update folder the other one where you copied that model dot fig file in make sure that file is in there before you run said program again and just run the exact same program again but in the, the other folder make sure like I say that you're in the right folder so you've run the O2 version and it failed now you go into the RUU Schubert HTC European folder and you run the ROM update utility again now because you've copied that file in that that dot fig model ID dot fig even though it's the European standard ROM it tricks the phone into letting you flash it because obviously it wouldn't let you do this otherwise because it's a non-standard O2 ROM and the phone's branded to O2 but this tricks it and it'll then start its update procedure just like before when it gets to about 10% it will stick don't panic thinking if frozen don't touch your computer at all nothing don't even look at it don't panic when it sticks it'll stick at 10% for what seems like forever but it will then start going again it'll stick at a couple of other points and when it gets to 100% it will seem to pause for a while but it's just doing its magic once it's done it'll tell you it's finished it won't error this time it'll go the phone will reboot there you are you're done you're back to standard as if you're getting it out the box it's fresh you've got to set the phone back up again um, which is unfortunate but it's a small price to pay took me about 10 minutes and my phone was back up with me contacts and everything and locked into me Windows Live account and Facebook and everything back on so everything and again everything worked fine the marketplace works everything works fine and now I have copy and paste hey which is not the reason I did it obviously I'm um, uh, uh, it will be handy in some points but for me the copy and paste feature was neither here nor there what the main thing is for me is now it's unbranded and any future updates I'm going to get them weeks if not months ahead because the phone as far as the phone's concerned it's an unbranded standard phone just happens to be only takes or two sim cards at the minute but 
as far as the phone's concerned that's by the by I will get all the future updates early without having to wait for O2 to put the crap in it now like I said I'll put the the name of the two RUU files you need if you google them it'll probably take you to XDA developers that's where the instructions for this are anyway um, but like I say make sure when you google them that you get those exact files named that exact way with the exact numbers make sure they are the exact files and it's child's play but like I say ex don't run the, the, the two files you're going to get don't run them themselves because the, the compressed self extracting things you need to right click each one and extract it to its own separate draw so you know what they named so you know what which one's the O2 one and which one's the generic European one copy that file out of the O2 one that model ID dot fig copy and paste that over into the European folder run the O2 update first it will fail then run the European one that won't fail done and just to prove um, I'll have to turn my screen brightness down because if I don't you won't be able to see a damn thing on here believe me I've tried this before it's terrible so I'll just turn my screen brightness down and I shall run a bit of text if you give me a minute I'll just find some text oh, God just realized how red my eyes are I'm just getting over a cold so I'm a little bit um, delicate at the minute and my eyes is all bloodshot and it, it, it's crazy right I've just getting a bit of text up on the screen so I'm going to try and line this up if I can and if I click on it you can see it highlights then I can drag those across and then click that button there oh god I'm trying to work backwards it's not easy that one there and that will copy that text into the clipboard and then I can paste it out now other features I've noticed when you go into your people's hub like I said I had three screens you have just catching up oh god I'm doing this backwards and I'm, I'm hitting everything I shouldn't be <laughs> I do apologize about that actually it's got them on now because I didn't have that third screen but I think it's just because I'd never get a text message into the thing but it has it's got that third screen in recent I thought that was missing but it's not so we'll bypass that um, I'm Mr. Unpopular no one had actually emailed us or texted us um, up until just while I was making this video the other main thing which was a biggie is the ringtones are a hell of a lot louder I mean a hell of a lot louder even when you're typing and you get that little click of the keyboard if you've got that switched on loud as hell I would say in some cases nearly twice as loud so the upped the ringtone volume and things like that which was a big issue because the ringtones were really really quiet there seems to be a lot more ringtones as well to what I remember when I first switched the phone on even though they are crap and you can also what I understand is you can actually still do what I did in the other video of putting custom ringtones on and unlocking the phone that still works with that software um, so you could still put custom ringtones back on if you want and they will be nice and loud everything seems to work fine Facebook's locked in all the marketplace works um, Wi-Fi Bluetooth everything just seems to work custom locations everything seems to work flawless um, so just a word of warning again because I like to stick these in if you're going to do this like I say I won't put links to files because I don't want if anything goes wrong I don't want you to say well you give me you put a link to the files and it, you broke it it didn't work I don't want to do that I will give you the name of the files then it's up to you to go and find them and up you to do it if anything goes wrong guys there is an inherent risk in everything I don't want to be held responsible you know what I mean I'm not telling you to go and do this I'm just showing you that it can be done and that it does work and I've done it I was daft enough to try it and it does work and remember it's for O2 only don't try this if you're on any other network and obviously if you're on an unbranded phone anyway you don't need to because you already get the updates early anyway and you've already probably already got it so that's just me disclaimer basically I will answer any questions and help you out best I can but basically once you've got these two you got these two exact files it's child's play you cannot go wrong but 
if you're in any doubt just drop us a, a message and I'll try and help you best I can and give you a few hints and tips but as I've described it's really easy it's well worth it guys and it works and I've had no problems whatsoever um, and like I say now fully updated future updates is going to be stronger and I'm going to get them first if I find out anything else or I manage to do anything else interesting uh, I will obviously drop another video and um, but for now I'm going to leave it there guys and hope you've enjoyed watching hope I haven't been too boring hope I don't look too scary because I've got bags under my eyes it's like unbelievable but like I said this cold that I've had I've had it for about three weeks and I'm just starting to get over it I've got bloodshot red eyes I've got it's affected me ears I've got ringing in my ear which tinnitus which I can't get didn't get rid of which is annoying but um, hopefully I'll feel a little bit better for the next video and look a bit better as well I look like I haven't slept for about three weeks but anyway guys I'll leave it there and uh, we'll get back to you next time